Okay, so we're back and we have a playset for Miss LPH. This is not mine. <laughs> so even though for some reason I keep ending up on this side of the camera, but this is a playset that LPH had wanted. It's a vintage 70s, I want to say circa 75, 76 off the top of my head. Mm -hmm. Knickerbocker original Raggedy Ann and Andy Playhouse. Original price, $10.60. And like a lot of these other play sets, like if you remember when I showed my McDonald's set, I got it sitting right up here. My Play School Familiar Places McDonald's. There may be several of them listed. <clears throat> they're not complete. There's probably 20 of those McDonald's on eBay, and you'd probably have to buy all 20 of them to make one set. <laughs> <laughs> it's that bad sometimes, because kids used to play with this stuff, and they'd break them, and they'd lose them. No exception here. And in order to make one complete set, we had to get two nearly complete sets. Yeah. To finagle together one complete set, and I guess we'll sell the other set and you open these up and it's literally like a little dollhouse Raggedy Ann and Andy dollhouse and this box on this one is in pretty bad shape yeah so that so this box one was, um, can go more complete yes well no it had one no this we bought this one because of the swing um, it had the swing it's missing a bed yeah and there's, you see these are little like three inch tall little Raggedy Ann and Andy. Yeah. Are they married or are they brother and sister? I have no I idea can't remember. what they are. I, I could this little. I don't remember either. See, there's a little swing set. And this other box set will complete this set. There's a little table and chairs. Mm -hmm. A couple of. Pillows. Pillows with the infamous Knickerbocker heart there for their little beds. And a blanket that does not go with this set. But yeah, but it's a, a... We'll take it. <laughs> yeah, because it's a, a <laughs> authorized uh, blanket this or piece of material. This still has interior flap. Yeah, and this box is in way better shape. Yeah, so I'll keep nice. that box. And this person had the bag. See, this one has the two, two beds. beds. Table, table and one and, chair. No, there's two chairs. Oh. And then another camel with the wrinkled knees, little rocking horse there. Yeah. And so essentially, and I think this house actually has uh, a damaged hook. Yeah, this one, this house has damaged, has damage. But what she's going <coughs> to do is combine them together. You push the button here, and that pops out. That button's off, often missing from this set. And you go in here, and there's the interior of the house. And you get your little bedrooms and a little slide so, you know, they can escape a fire because they are rag dolls. <laughs> you don't want them to burn up in there. Yeah. And it's got this neat fringe going all around the outside. And their name on the house, right? Names Raggedy on the house, in case you didn't know who was living in there. And that's really simple. 1977, there it is. I thought it was 75, 76, but it's 1977 Knickerbocker. Yeah. And so, yeah, she's just going to combine the pieces up, make the best possible example, so that box will go. <laughs> yeah, because this box, as you can see, is damaged. This is a nicer, this box will stay. brighter box. This house will move because that one's got the, the dent. It's, a, it's got a break in it. Mm -hmm. It's got a crack. And then you can just pick from among this and put together your little house, your little diorama. Mm -hmm. And I know you're saying they're rag dolls. How are they going to stay on anything? Well, you know, Knickerbocker, they thought of that. Yeah, you just put the arms in there. Yeah, that's why it's got that, see? <laughs> and the camel with the wrinkled knees. Oops, there you go. <laughs> little rocking horse, rocking camel. They thought of that. I don't yeah. know about these chairs though. I think that chair. Oh no, he stays in the chair. Here, just push the table up. He'll be all right. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's neat. That's a neat little piece of childhood there. Yeah, because I had um, 
Raggedy Ann and Andy doll. And I remember one year for my birthday, I had a birthday cake. Um, that's all I can remember of. And I remember watching the cartoon. I don't know how much toys I had. Yeah. But they had a Saturday morning cartoon once upon a time. Yeah. And I remember watching it. So. So that is that's really neat. Now they just need a Funko Pop and we on the popping. Oh my god. <laughs> Who owns the rights to that now? I have no applause. Fun. Does applause still have the rights? I have no. Or Hasbro. Hasbro's made stuff oh. after Knickerbocker uh, went under. Hasbro had it and applause had it. And of course applause sold through Hallmark stores. So mm -hmm. there's a crossover license there. I don't know who's got it now. Mm -hmm. But there you go. Have the you ever seen this guy before guys? Does anybody remember this? Even incomplete, these are really, really tough to find. It's tough to find, but they're super cheap. Yeah, again, as I've said several times, rare doesn't necessarily mean expensive or valuable. I've got rare pieces that aren't worth a whole hell of a lot. Yeah. But, but as I said, again, they mean something to me. And, you know, this is something that meant something to LPH. Mm-hmm. And now we got a complete set. Yeah. That's pretty neat. I think it's cool. I think it's a cool piece of nostalgia.